afternoon, folks, and welcome back. This is part number three of the remote fireworks ignition system that I've been working on. Uh, it's been a few days since the last uh, video that I did. Uh, I've been hard at work here. Um, so what I've done is I've finished up putting all the equipment inside of the rack and also building the remote connections uh, that will go out near the fireworks where we will plug the fuses in. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick little overview of what I've done here. Um, so these boxes here are going to be uh, the boxes that will be used out near the field. Okay. You can see here I have right now a um, fuse installed already just to do a test I don't have a, a actual fuse I'm sorry this is the igniter I don't have a fuse on it but we can see it glow we'll do a test um, from this box this will be connected to the main cabinet um, by a 50 foot cable that runs over here to the um, ignition system. So I've added some safety features in here which actually uh, something I wanted to do uh, to keep everybody safe. Uh, what I have is I have a couple of key systems. I have a couple of toggle switches and one of these uh, key switches will run the actual power to the actual um, uh, relay board which is the 12 volts uh, let's take the cable out of here, sorry guys. Uh, so that's the 12 volts. Um, it runs this board, which is the actual 16-port uh, relay. The other key and switch is the power, which is the 9-volt power, which is what I'm calling the igniter power. That's the power that goes through here into all the relays, and that power then comes out and is what goes into the, these little boxes. Okay, so. And I just have a little mini switch here hooked up so I can hook up a, a PC or two. So along those lines, right now I'm still using the, the built-in web server um, as the go-to way to control this whole system. I'm still working on the Raspberry Pi portion. I'm hoping to get something uh, programmed and, and put together by the 4th of July. But if I don't, I know this works. This is a safe way to go and um, so that's the way I'm going to go with it. So again this is just a little network cabinet I just had laying around. Um, I put some handles on it so it you know, would be easy to carry out in the field. Here is the 110 outlet. This is my cable going over to my PC here so I can show you guys how this works. Um, that comes down here to the mini switch. So the key thing here is, is safety. Uh, is what I was trying to focus a good bit on. Um, so when we're out hooking up all the uh, boxes here and hooking in the fireworks and fuses, or the, the fuses to the fireworks, I should say, um, nothing's going to be charged and be lit off by accident. So this one will be off. So the safety is now off. And what we do is we'll throw 
the igniter system. So now I have the main power for the relay board and I have ignition uh, 9 volt power going through, through the box. Okay. So come over here, um, I have the box here ready to go. Like I said, I have a fuse that's already hooked up. Um, and what I've got, I've got this plugged into relay number two. So I've tested all these and I've numbered them. So I've got four of these boxes um, that start with number, uh, each box has four relays. <clears throat> all right, so this is one through four. That will be placed in the rows between the fireworks. Hopefully close. And what the plan would be is put one of these boxes to feed two rows. So we have two relays that feed or one relay will feed half of the one row, the other relay will feed the half of that same row, the other half, and then say these two relays will feed the other row. So as you can see, we can lay out a lot of fireworks here. Um, so for the example here, I don't know how well this camera, oh by the way, I got a new camera I'm trying out. So if this isn't really good, my apologies, um, it's kind of a cheapy knockoff GoPro, but let's see how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little quick test. So I'm going to set off number two. It's off right now. So when I set off number two, you can see she lights up. And you see if I had a fuse on that, she would be on fire and ready to set off a firework now. So that's most of my time putting it in, putting it all together. I put ferrules on everything. So Everything had a good connection. I had a lot of some electrical things just laying around the house here, including the wire. So I put ferrules on. I've, I've dressed up some stuff with some um, some cable cover. Uh, my cable management isn't the best down here. I don't know if you can see it ever easy or not. So that's it. Uh, now I'm just uh, working on getting the Raspberry Pi. Um, hopefully configured and put together and I'll be able to uh, use this thing remotely might want to keep it pretty simple this year I think it's the first time but so yeah Sunday is a big show uh, tune in to uh, Jimmy Ricky on his channel he is going to have the coverage of the fireworks show itself I'll do uh, some videos some updates as, uh, as well showing uh, the operation of the box, how it went. Uh, I got a cool 360 camera I'm going to try to set up and take some 360 shots of the show. He's got a drone. Uh, if you haven't already, check out Jimmy Ricky. Check out his channel. He has uh, got some really cool videos that we have done. He's got some of the firework preparations that we've done this year. He's got some film from last year, some videos from last year from the fireworks show, and some preparations we've done as well. Uh, I think you enjoy it, so check out his channel. Again, check out my channel, like and subscribe. Let me know. Big thumbs up if you liked it. You know, give me a thumbs down if, if you didn't, but you know, leave me some comments. Let me know uh, how I can improve. Peace.